You're not going to see mine today because that's not what type of video this is. We don't do OnlyFans on my channel. Only dance belts. Hey everyone, Andrew here, Melbourne Superman, Super Fit Cosplay. I'm crazy excited because today is the first part of a two-part review. So this one, I'm going to review the new suit that I've just gotten from Sim Cosplay based on the 2025 James Gunn Superman movie. So this first costume I've got is a budget, economy-friendly uh, sort of suit. So... It is, they have two versions. This one's the cheaper one. I've got the more expensive one coming, so they've supplied me with these costumes. I'm so excited to review them. So we're going to get right into this. So for those of you new to my channel, uh, suit reviews, I talk about many different things. So I do the, sometimes, generally, I do the unboxing, depending on when I've gotten the suit or how I've gotten it. This particular one is not a custom size, so the next one coming from them, the more expensive one, I did have to, I, I did choose to do the custom sizing. So this one is their generic sizing. So it's going to be interesting, interesting to see how the next one fits and how this one fits as well. So generally I'll talk about the suit itself, why I did it. I'll talk about the maker experience or the, the, the store experience. And then I'll talk about sort of the close-ups and, and you know, I'll put the suit on. So... In terms of this, this is so there's been a lot of confusion regarding these suits from makers. Uh, so this pattern you can find from not only Sim Cosplay, you can find it from other cosplay shops as well. So this is not exclusive to any one sort of cosplay shop or factory. It is a pattern that they put together, but it's a pattern that's based off of whatever powers that be that make these patterns. So today on the channel right now, I'm going to unbox this. I've just gotten it from Sim Cosplay. The Economy Superman 25 Superman costume. Here we go. All right, so this is how it came packaged. We're, literally haven't opened it yet. We're gonna we're gonna get crazy right now. Um, so as I do it, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about what I'm seeing. So all right, so we've got it. Ugh, get that out of the way. So we can see that it's nice and bright. It's looking like. Oh yeah, so I did opt, so this this particular version, you have a couple of different options. You can just do the plain, it doesn't come with any bells or whistles. Uh, you can do different types of zippers to make it a little bit easier to get on and off. Uh, or you can do boots, you can add sort of boot bottoms with it. So I did that just so that I could wear it outside if I wanted to. Because most of these come with, like if, if it's the stock standard, and you don't add on the boots, which is an extra like 10 or $20 or something. So it's worth it. You can't really wear them outside unless you put shoes on over them. So I decided to get the soles that I can just in case. I think 20 bucks or however much it was, totally worth it. So I got the uh, size medium from them. All right, so. Actually, I think I might stand up for this. Stand up for this. All right, so I'm gonna try to talk loud enough so I can get into the mic and that you can hear everything that I'm saying. But my mic, it's one of those, it's a Yeti, it's a great mic, but if I'm far away from it, who knows what's gonna happen? We're gonna find out. All right. I'm so excited. I love unboxing new suits. It's ridiculous. All right, so here we go. So here's the cape. <clears throat> so it's kind of like a satin material, this one. Oh, and it does have, it does have the yellow S on the back of it. So it's obviously, it's gonna need a bit of a, an iron or steam but that does look really nice. So you see that, that's a nice cape, like for a budget friendly cape, it does have snaps on it. So that's how it's gonna go on. Has a good little, ooh, that sound though, uh, really good. So there you go. So that's the cape. It's got the yellow S on the back of it, which we've, we've missed from so many different movies I know. All right, so the main attraction. All right, so. Now here is the actual suit itself. So it's got nice, it's really got some nice muscle, muscle shading, which the actual suit, the actual James Gunn suit, obviously from what we've seen, does not have any kind of shading, it's just that. And basically their more premium suit, which I do have coming, is much more like that. So you'll see that in a further review uh, of, the, of the future suit. So you can see it's really, really nice looking. It's got a great color to it. This is where the, the snaps are gonna go. Everything screen printed on, and you can see the boots, really cool actually. You can see the bottoms, they're really gonna be good to wear. Actually, do you know what? Live theater, 5% to, we're going 50%. Oh my God. Now you can really see the colors. I hope you can, because I can't see anymore. 
So there's the boots, nice bottoms. So, all right. Back of it. Now let's do this. Let's put this bad boy on. Now, as with all suits, I recommend a dance belt. You're not gonna see mine today because that's not what type of video this is. We don't do OnlyFans on my channel. Only dance belts. Okay, let's do it. All right, so the way that you get has my, oh my God, what's with my hair? There we go. I'm not gonna start using product. I'm not, I'm not cutting my hair lately because I'm doing a show into the woods and playing the baker. <laughs> Come see it if you're in Geelong or in Australia. Um, and so the director wants me to grow my hair out for that a little bit. So, okay. So it zips in the back and, and then you put your foot in. I don't need to tell you how to get dressed. It's pretty self-explanatory on how to do that. So right off the bat, right off the bat, the, oh, no. Oh, okay. Okay, so right off the bat, like just getting my foot into the boot um, was, it's not hard, but you've got to like, you've got to make sure that you sort of um, manipulate it so that your foot goes underneath the lining of the boot, if that makes sense. Otherwise, otherwise your, your toe is sticking out on top, which I'll, I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you in the close-ups in a second. All right, there we go. Okay, so it feels, I don't know if this is gonna be long enough. I don't know, oh, actually, I think it, you don't need a watch, I've done this before. Am I still recording? Yes, I am, here we go. There goes my Garmin. All right. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a tight fit. It's fine. Everything, oh. Put your right foot in, you put your right foot out. You get the soup suit on and you shake it all about. All right, zipper. All right, so pro tip. Done this before. Pull it down as far as you can. And zip it up as high as you can. Ugh. And then do the same thing in the back. If you can get it, but you can't. Pull it up. Come on. Come on. Oh, so close. Uh, no, nah, gotta get it. Gotta get it more from the bottom. Oh my God, I just need another two inches. Two inches. Come on. I gotta start doing yoga. Ah. Okay. It's a good fit. It's a good fit, actually. Oh, God. Okay. Something is definitely bleeding. Wow. No, wow, but wow. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Actually, this is how, this is how the suit should have fit on screen. Look at this. Oh, the cape. Okay, the cape. I'll put some full photos on my Instagram. I'm gonna get the chair out of the way now that you can't see my dance belt. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get this on by myself. Okay, so, wow. Actually, really, really a whole lot of not bad. Okay. Okay, so at first glance, what I'm going to say is that my biggest issue, which is a nitpick, as you can see here, it doesn't quite line up the way that it should. So you can see that there, there's a little bit, it's too angled. I, I can fix that. I'll probably end up using Velcro and fixing that, but whoa. Okay. Who's your Superman now? This is what, this is what we like. I like this suit. So it feels great. It fits perfectly. This is cool. This is cool. I'm proud of this one. Way to go. Way to go. All right. Let's do some close-ups. Okay. Let's do the close-ups. All right. So here we got the full emblem. 
you can see, get in front of the light of it, you can see the shading there, which is really, really nice down to the belt. You can also see down the legs, the shading down the legs, and you can see here that end piece on the boot. That's what I was talking about before where you got to kind of get under it. Really look nice. And this is, this is fitting pretty perfectly. Look at this. Like, that's great. And then you, you can see what I mean by the cape. It's a bit too angled. But then you have the neckline. See? So you saw what the back of it looks like. <clears throat> this is really nice. I'm excited about this one. I'm really excited about this one. All right. So that was the putting on of and a little bit of the close-ups of this new suit. I'm so excited about it. It feels so good. Like, it's really nice. I'm, I'm excited to see what they're... Uh, economy versions, uh, sorry, their premium version is going to look like compared to this. But like, this looks really good. I feel like this would have been a better movie suit, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm still, I'm still not sold with the suit that we've been seeing, but I'm not not sold, I guess, is the thing. But okay, so the maker experience. So obviously the reason that I wanted to do this was to test out the difference between their budget and their premium suits. And obviously I wanted to get hold of a Superman Legacy 2025 suit. And I dealt with them and they were so nice. Like they were really upfront about their timeline. They said it was probably gonna take anywhere from uh, five to 10 days to tailor it um, or to, to build it. And then another week or two to get it. So it probably took just a little bit longer than that. But do you know what? As soon as they released this thing, everybody and their grandfather would have been looking to get this suit. So like considering the demand that it would have been in from cosplayers like me, I think they did pretty well. So dealing with them was great. Like when I was curious about how long it was going to be, they got back to me right away. And it was never a hassle. So I would definitely buy something from them again. Uh, I probably will. Maybe I'll get a Deadpool thing from them. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so it was a really good experience. So overall, I'm really happy with the suit, like really, really happy with the suit to the point where I'm going to go take some pictures right now for Instagram. Uh, like it doesn't get, doesn't get much better than this for a budget suit. Like overall, it cost uh, under $100 and was really, really, really worth it. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. De definitely get in, in touch with Sim Cosplay. They're really great. And I'm excited about this one. So look. Please remember, if you do like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notifications bell, ding, ding. Follow me at Melbourne Superman on Instagram so you can see some of these awesome photos. And remember, I do have the members only option. So that is easy, easy access. <laughs> oh, no, very different. Early access and access to things that yeah, I might not have released to the public. For example, the unreleased Action Costumes Golden Edition review, some of the old Napier's reviews, bunch of other things. So, and maybe even some shorts, who knows. But look, thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited about this suit. Thanks for stopping by and I will catch you next time.